This is Coombe Coking Works. It's just south of Pontypridd in South Wales, right here. It's one of the best explores we've done to date. It's almost as though they just shut the place down one day, dropped tools and left. We thoroughly enjoyed the challenge of getting in the grounds on this one. It's surrounded by high fences and barbed wire, which I sliced my hand open on with a bad grip. But you'll surely agree it was worth it when you see what's left behind. The pits at Coombe were first sunk by the Great Western Railway in 1909 due to their hunger and need for constant supplies of coal. Coombe became widely known for its coke in 1958 when the coking ovens used to produce the coke and refine its byproducts were installed. There are two pits at Coombe, they were even given names, Margaret and Mildred. They produced over 500,000 tonnes of coke every year and provided jobs for 1,500 men.
coking plant closed in 2002 after almost a century of producing low sulfur coke to supply the huge demand. Green climbed up this tower via the long tunnels holding the huge conveyor belts. You need to bear in mind that this tower has been blown around by the wind and it was rattling like crazy. F*** that. A few angles of that. Scary, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when I got back on that, at the top, it was proper squeaking, like you said. After much pressure from the locals to demolish the site and reuse the land, in 2014, owners CPL Industries were granted planning permission to demolish all the buildings except a few listed ones. The site is planned to be replaced by homes as part of a council effort to regenerate the area and meet the needs of the local community.